Um, well, my work's called Anchorage, and it's actually a series of four images, but there's only one in the exhibition, which is the first one in the series. One of the techniques that I use to create the works is, um, it's called the Brenizer method. It's creating a panorama out of many different shots. I think the one in the exhibition is about 50 or to 80 or something. So I did three drawings. One was the, almost called the GDS Monaro, so that focused on the back of the car. Um, then I had the HQ headlight, which focused on the front of the car, and then the 1972 HQ GDS Monaro, which focused on like the mirror on the side of the car. My work's called um, Focus 1, 2 and 3. It's a series of three portraits. Um, my aim was to sort of highlight insecurities in a way by blurring everything else and it's almost this conversation you have with yourself when you look in the mirror. So you only focus on your insecurity like your nose or your eyes, your mouth or that sort of thing. My artwork is titled Meet Your Meat. The subject matter of the carcasses kind of explores the concept of that like when a human being consumes meat they consume the animal's energy and like the fear and the terror and the trauma. I was thinking it'd be interesting to try and capture something that's revolving around the changes that everyone naturally goes through in life and um, one symbol that I kind of tried to capture in a certain way was that the subject as like the boy He's like walking through the landscape and progressing in his life in a certain way, but the landscape remains relatively similar. So one thing I thought was, instead of just having it as a series, how can I incorporate the physical space that it's gonna be presented in into the series? So I thought, you know, we could progress it through time and then because they're large scale, you know, they're 10 meters long, so the viewer progresses through the physical space of the exhibition space as well as the images progressing through time, essentially from you know, just before sundown to dusk. Creating them that big was a large challenge, especially because the files to print that large you know, had to be very large. So actually delivering those files to the printer and all of that sort of stuff, you can't just send them online. Figuring out how to mount the works was also difficult because a lot of places don't do you know, that large work. It's really difficult for me to pick a specific artist um, as a favourite of mine because I like to draw so much from a whole heap of different artists. You know, I might draw a specific visual style from a photographer and an approach to creativity from a musician. In 2016, um, I'm doing fine arts at RMIT, which is great. I think I'd probably just say, don't think that anything's like out of your reach. You know, just set a massive goal for yourself and just work towards it. All three drawings had the same materials and processes. Um, I first took photographs of the car, then I transferred the photographs onto Photoshop, edited the pictures, then I used the black and white effect, sketched the, the main features and just the outline of the car onto illustration card, which has a really smooth surface. I then used Brian Zool graphite pencils. They're really soft, um, the graphite, so it's a lot easier to blend. Um, I used paper stumps as well, um, which helped me to create tonal blending, to create a smooth surface of that car, create more of a realistic effect. Some areas took a lot longer than others. Um, with the HQ headlight, that was really challenging, probably the most challenging out of all three of them. There was just so many lines, reflections and shapes that I had to capture. Dad really inspired me. Um, he's grown up building cars all his life um, and that really opened me up to the world of classic cars um, so I'll always like tag along if he goes to car shows. Um, it is challenging um, to keep organised with all your other subjects as well because I spent hours um, late up at night just drawing because it was just so time consuming. Yeah, it's hard but you get through it. So I use some um oil paint, so obviously quite traditional media, um, but I like the idea of using more traditional forms of art, such as painting, to depict more modern ideas and sort of aesthetics. I was very motivated to do something sort of about self-image or body image. Um, I just really love anatomy, looking at facial forms, that sort of thing, how light hits the skin. It's um, quite interesting, so that's why I usually do portraiture. But the blending of this work was really hard and sort of 
paint dries and then you can't blend anymore so you do more layers and that was probably the most challenging part of my work. And keeping sort of continuity between three artworks was a little bit challenging, much harder than doing just one large work. So I'm going up to ANU to study science and art together, which is very exciting. I really hope that art has a big part of my life because I'd like to become some sort of artist and maybe even combine that with science in, a, in some way. Um, set goals, um, be ambitious but be realistic at the same time. Um, even if it's to do with folio, like maybe set per night, just do one page and over, even if you just do one page a week, but not a week, a day rather, um, for nine weeks, you'll have 45 pages just of quality content and you can really focus on detail and it's really achievable. So just set goals, be ambitious, be realistic. Well, I use the technique of presenting them as a final series rather than just one because it conveys kind of the viewpoint of the mass consumption of the meat and thus the mass consumption of the energy. As a highly visual being with Asperger's syndrome, I struggle completely with voicing my views um, and I hold very surrealist perspectives and view the world through a unique lens. Well, 2016, I hope to just kind of like settle into life and ground myself and find my place. But eventually I'd like to get into art therapy and start, hold like open art therapy classes for kids and young adults who have trouble with mainstream communication.